Hi everyone, Sunday morning here on Loch Ree, just pulling out from Inch Boffin. Uh, that boat in the background that you can see is uh, Mike Connell, who is one of our farmers on the Breeding Wader EAP. That's his cattle boat. So we're going to collect uh, some beautiful Drimmon heifers uh, to bring out and, and graze one of the islands. Uh, the island is called Clanch, so it's on the north end of uh, Loch Ree. Uh, the state bought the island last year and part of the conservation plan that we put that we we're putting in place uh, and the management plan that we're putting in place uh, in collaboration with regional staff at the NPWS is some conservation grazing. So Drimmon cattle, if anybody doesn't know of them, they're a native Irish breed, D-R-O-I-M-E-A-N-N, -N, and there's a Drimmon Cattle Society that have some information about the breed up on their um, website. So it's well worth checking out. But our native cattle and waders are best friends, really. Uh, cattle graze in, in a certain way. They leave some tufts, they leave some roughs. Uh, they also graze down uh, fairly tight in other spots. So it's a real mosaic of habitats and this is what our waders like. As I always say to people, we won't have breeding waders if we don't have farmers. So what we're always promoting is collaborative conservation. So in this instance we have a breeding wader EAP uh, working with the NPWS, working with local farmers um, and Clanch, that island in particular. We have more exciting news about Clanch uh, during the week. Uh, we will have machines out there uh, and those machines, one will be driven by the Breeding Waders EAP, another one will be an OPW machine, so the Office of Public Works, and a big thanks to uh, Minister Kevin boxer Morn. Um, we will also have local contractors, so uh, Blair Chatterton in Portonina Marina has a pontoon, so that's how we're going to get the machines out there, and those machines will be doing scrub clearance, uh, and I will follow up with a series of videos about that. But Breeding Waders need farmers, Breeding waders need everybody working together and that's what collaborative conservation is all about. Um, and one thing to note, and I mean, some people don't think about it because sometimes conservation may get bad press. They say that they're trying to stop farmers producing this, that and the other. Or, or you know, The truth of the matter is that conservation gets money and gets funding into rural economies. Farmers are getting paid, local contractors are getting paid, local survey workers are getting paid, staff on these projects are more more often than not rurally based as well so conservation gets money into local communities that's the message for this morning uh thanks very much look how beautiful luckery is an amazing spot all right chatty later